Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing okay. Um, now we've got a breakdown. We have the Vauxhall Corsa and as you can probably see, hopefully we have an exhaust that's come off. Same place, it always comes off on Vauxhalls. It's always the same. It, uh, it just rusts through and the back box drops off. So we need to get that sorted out. We've got a new one. Let's take a look. Well, after hoping to get on with the job quicker than I had, so you can see the original exhaust, that one there, you can see where, as usual, on the Vauxhall, it always corrodes around there and gives up and the back box falls off. If you remember, I've had this before. I've also had it on my Zafira as well. So it seems a common thing with Vauxhalls. They don't have enough brackets and hangers to hold things together. So that's that one. You can see the middle one is the one that I've just been out and bought because this one is the one that I got delivered the other day and it's completely the wrong one. For some reason, even though it matched on the registration check and all that kind of thing, it was wrong. So I've been out and got that one. Uh, it's actually got the, the proper flared tip on as well because it's the, uh, the SXI version of the Corsa. So it looks a little bit different. Uh, gonna get underneath. We'll have to get the old bit of the bracket off and off the, uh, the exhaust clamp and uh, let's get under there, get the old bits off and get things prepared. Let's go take a look. So we're up on the ramps, that makes it a little bit easier. And see so we take it off on that hanger and there's our exhaust clamp that I'm gonna undo. And then we can join it back on on that one hopefully. I've also got some exhaust paste as well. Looks like everything else is all right under here. The hanger looks okay. You can see the new hangers I've just put on there, put the bracket on. So I'm just going to lift it into place now, up and over the rear axle and get it into place, ready to go back onto the other pipe. So far not, uh, not too much drama, which is good. Yeah, I remember this bit now the problem you've got is trying to get all of the angles joined up whilst you're still hitting the rear bumper and trying to get it hooked over here without completely destroying the uh, heat shield here as well which it's had a few rips already um, so it's a it's a kind of it's a mind game trying to lift that into the right place then twist it and spin it so that then the, the correct part of the bracket drops down. I can't quite remember the sequence I did this in last time because I have done this before and there is a trick to which position to get it into and eventually I'll get it and it'll just slot in but until that point 
you're just randomly doing this swapping it around so I'll keep doing that and I'll see if I can remember which way it goes so what I remembered is using ramps doesn't work because it doesn't allow the rear axle to drop down far enough to let the exhaust fit up and over so I've now moved I've got a ramp on that side just barely uh, and on this side I've jacked the car up so should now be able to fit the exhaust up and over because now the rear axle is sitting a little bit further down so there's one to remember if you're using ramps it looks like a good idea to start with but the ramp actually keeps the rear spring compressed and uh, keeps the rear axle up and doesn't give you the space at the top so hopefully it'll slide in a little bit easier now There we go so with the axle far down you can see that now fits unfortunately I've gone and ripped through the heat shield so I'm gonna get some big washers and fasten the heat shield back up when we're done but that can be afterwards I'm gonna get the exhaust in place get the hangers on and get it held up first the rear hanger on first and then it can help hold it whilst we attach the pipes hopefully there we go make sure the brackets are still on and haven't fallen off and the heat shield's right in the way now it's one of these jobs that is so frustrating. Nope, maybe I can't put the bracket on quite yet. There we go. Got the two brackets ready to go. Get a bit of force on and then we'll try and fix this heat shield as well actually i want to put a little bit of this all the way around a bit of uh, exhaust sealant and I'm going to use a cloth to uh, spread it all around before I push the, the final pipe back into place just to help make sure we've got a seal I'm pretty confident that the, that the clamps will seal it quite nicely but this, this will just help make sure I need to sort this heat shield because that is driving me up the wall getting in the way here just seems to make the job so much easier uh, not easier tougher if that was sorted So there we go, 
I've got the heat shield back on. You can see the exhaust clamp is there in place. And I've got the hangers and the brackets in place. So I think we're good to start up and hopefully we've got a much less noisy car because on the Corsa you can see there isn't actually a central back box or anything, a central box silencer. So it's just the one at the back. So no wonder it's a noisy car if it doesn't have that back box on it. more like it. Much quieter. You can see it's all held in place nicely. There's also nothing hanging below which is important that there's nothing going to get caught or anything like that. When you put the, uh, the brackets on you need to make sure that they're tightened up and they're lifted up so they're not hanging below the car. And there we go, not too difficult to fix that one to be honest, uh, the rear back box on, uh, it's the Corsa D which is the uh, the fourth edition of the Vauxhall Corsa, um, so hope that's been useful to you, please do pop a subscribe and a like down the bottom if the video has been useful and more videos coming soon.